Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to look at a new robotic vacuum. This is from Pro Scenic. This uh, RoboVac features a smart app control, Alexa control, powerful suction, smart mapping, and a lot of other cool features. So here's the vacuum in the charging station. And I have been using this vacuum for a couple of days now. Uh, here's a look at the uh, underside of the vacuum. I do have two other RoboVacs. And so I've used a total of three or four over the years. And they all have the brushes that rotate. These, This one has nice big wheels with a lot of clearance. This does have a large six milliliter dust bin. It's a pretty good size. And there are two filters. There's a HEPA filter, and then there's the particle filter. There's the box that it came in. Um, as I mentioned, I've been using this for a couple of days now. Came with a remote control, a cleaning brush, and I have to confess that with my other RoboVax that came with brushes, I never actually pulled the brush out and used it. I just managed to clean it some other way. And, of course, the vacuum itself and the charging station and the user manual. So on the back of the user manual, uh, there's contact information for ProScenic. There's a physical address, an email address, and there are phone numbers. And that gives a lot of confidence for the customer service. When I buy something from a company, I like to see either, uh, either on the website or on the user manual the contact information. I mentioned that it does have a remote control. I personally don't think I'll, I'll use that. I'll use the voice command, the Alexa control, um, and the app, the phone app, which I will show you in a second. Um, but here is, here is the remote. You can control it from here. I find I have too many remotes, and they're, they're never where I want them to be, so I prefer the voice control and the phone app. So the, the app, uh, the instructions are in the user manual how to um, download the app, but I mean it's pretty straightforward. You just go to the, the App Store or the Play Store. You can use the QR code if you like. So here's a look at the basic screen. 100% um, battery remaining. And once it starts cleaning, you will see on here the smart mapping. And you can pretty much, uh, I think you can control everything here from this app. Automatically recharge, auto clean, edge cleaning, spot cleaning, single room cleaning. Alexa, turn NeoVac on. Okay. Now NeoVac is the name I gave it. You can name it whatever you want. There's a place uh, in the app where you choose your name. Now I, I'm, this is not going to be the permanent location for the docking station. Uh, just up against the wall here, but uh, and I don't have it secure there. So as I mentioned, I've been using this vacuum for a couple of days, uh, primarily on the upper level uh, of my home, and uh, it's really great at avoiding obstacles, and it does have the cliff detection, or the drop sensor, so it's not going to go down the stairs. I have two dogs and a cat, so I never go very long without vacuuming. Now this vacuum has three suction modes. Uh, the most powerful is 1800 PA, which is um, it is pretty powerful. You know, I was looking online trying to see what some of the other vacuums are for comparison, and it's actually hard to get that information. They, they don't advertise it a lot, but um, I did see one one of the vacuums boasting 1500 as being um, very, very powerful. So 1800 PA at the strongest setting is uh, for this one. One interesting feature of this is the auto carpet boost. So it automatically increases suction when it reaches a carpet or rug. Goes. Now, even though it's
still before Thanksgiving. I went ahead and put up some Christmas decorations. Get a little more time enjoying the pretty colors and lights. This area rug that's here in the family room, um, it negotiates with that, no problem at all. I do have a little bit of a, uh, some thicker uh, throw rugs upstairs that it handled well also. I, you know, some of, the, some of the older robotic vacuums weren't very good at all at going on and off carpet, but they've improved a lot and this one does a good job. I'm going to put down some cracker crumbs and raisins. Okay, I have the vacuum pause. I'm going to turn it back on with the phone out. Getting up those crumbs. I'm gonna see about controlling this manually with the remote control so it doesn't go all the way across the room. Come back, turn sideways. Okay, Let's see if this works. See, so I'm not very good with remote controls. <laughs> okay. <laughs> making short work of that. It's getting them up. I was thinking that maybe they would be scattered everywhere, but there's minimal scattering. The brushes are just pushing the debris under the vacuum. So I'm definitely going to be doing some um, cutting of this video footage because people don't have time to watch the vacuum clean the entire house, um, or even this room. It, the cleaning time uh, is that it will go between charges is 60 to 120 minutes. So up to two hours, one to two hours. And the charging time is three to four hours. And here it comes. Okay, it's, it's just getting all the crumbs right up. And it appears to have gotten up all the crackers and raisins. So I was wondering what was going to happen with this uh, skirt around the tree, it was going to get tangled up in it, but it's just kind of pushing it out of the way a little bit and getting around it. One thing you do have to be concerned about with Robodex in general is wires and things like socks and so on on the floor, they'll get um, tangled up in them, but they, what they'll do is just stop. Really stop and get jammed, and then you could see that from your um, app. All right, it's really at work there under the sofa, and with my upright vacuum, I am almost never going to get underneath the sofa well. Hmm. Okay. I thought it was going to have a problem there with the carpet that was lifted up, but uh, it did okay. So when I was using the vacuum upstairs, the only time that it um, had a snafu was when it uh, I had a cord laying on the floor, and what happened then is it just stopped. But I was able to look at the app and locate where the vacuum was, because if, if it gets caught in something, it'll just stop and I could see where the red dot was. So you can see it's mapping out, um, smart mapping, I guess they call it, here on the app on my phone. It's been going a little while now. 
Well, I go, oh, it says 16 minutes. And it's at 79%. Remaining battery. And I think it's a kind of uh, interesting that um, both dogs and the cat are resting peacefully while the vacuum is working away. If I turn on the upright vacuum, um, a couple of them would scatter. I've got it turned off and I'm going to turn it on and show you what happens when it gets to the edge of the stairs. Alexa, turn Neovac on. Okay. See, it turned right around there when it got to the top of the stairs. Did the same thing when it was upstairs. So there doesn't appear to be any danger of it falling downstairs. So the vacuum has made its way to the next room, working away. The only thing I would say is a problem with these robotic vacuums is little toys, little um, Legos, things like that. That gives you an incentive to pick those up <laughs> before turning the vacuum on. I would say wires, Legos, and things like socks. I've turned the vacuum on and off um, three, four or five times. So that reset the mapping and the cleaning time. But I'm going to show you how it goes home. So when the battery level is low or when it's finished cleaning, it'll return to the docking station to charge. Or you can just give it the command, the voice command, um, the command from the phone app, or I'll use the remote control to push the home button. And the motor turns off and it returns to the docking station. All right, now it's time to empty the dustbin. And let's see, pull it down. Push down. goodness. That is a lot of dust and looks like pet hair. So that's what it picked up. I'm not sure actually how long it ran because I kept stopping and starting it so that restarted the app. So look what it picked up. You can see the crackers in there and the raisins and Lots more hair than I thought there would be since I have vacuumed fairly recently. I'm not sure how long it ran. It didn't finish, I just, and, and the battery didn't run out, but I just turned it off. Ordinarily I'd be able to tell, but I was turning it on and off. So the app was resetting. I'm pretty impressed with the vacuum. Powerful suction, has the uh, voice control and um, the remote control and the app, really like the app. The only complaint that I would have might be that the dustbin seemed 
a little tricky to open, but that might just be me. Probably it's just me. So please check the description section below for more information, and thanks for watching.